Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're continuing on creating our particle systems for each one of the weather states. Now, again, we're going to be using or adapting particle systems from the standard assets. Now, we will create a particle system from scratch when we come to do the rain, for instance. But in this lesson, we're going to work on the sun and the overcast particle systems. Now, of course, you don't have to make yours. There are plenty of uh, great packs available on the asset store. But um, if you want to create your own, this is a good way of going over the basics. And of course, you know, I encourage you to spend time and um, really... Um, Go through all these settings until you eventually find a system that you're happy with. But let's just go through some of the basics again. Now, we're going to come into the standard assets, particle systems and prefabs. And again, we're going to use the dust storm to start with, but we're going to alter it a little bit more than we did for the mist. So let's copy that onto the weather game object twice. And we'll name one is, if I will just say some clouds. And we'll name the second one as overcast clouds. And what we're going to do is come to the sun clouds one and I'm actually just going to disable the mist and I'm going to disable the overcast for the moment so I can only see the sun clouds system. Now, even though this is going to default above the player game object, um, let's raise it up a little bit more. Let's try a value of 10. And what we're going to do is actually click on the smoke prefab here and we can click on the texture it's using and as you can see we have two cloud textures what I'm going to do is assign this one here onto here and that will now change the texture that this particle system is using and I'm also going to come to shape now I want the box on the X and Z to be the same the Y, uh, I think we can leave the Y as a zero because basically I just want some base wispy sun clouds actually overhead. It just makes the sky look a bit more dynamic rather than just having a static sky box when we're in the sunny state. But I'm going to change the simulation space from local to world and I don't want these clouds to be too prominent. Max particles, let's turn this down. Let's try value of 700. And I'm just coming beneath so I can have a look how it will appear in game. And in fact, I might knock that down further. Let's try 500. So we'll just have a few dynamic clouds overhead when we're in the sunny state. And in fact the shape I'm going to increase. Now your value will be different depending on your camera settings. The uh, Where are we here? The near and far clipping planes. If you've adjusted the far you may not need to make your power particle systems as big as mine but again this is something that um, I advise you to experiment with for yourself and I'm quite happy with that that will do quite nicely for my Sun system so we'll come back to the directional light and we'll assign the Sun clouds particle system now for the overcast 
we're going to do the exact same I'm just going to disable some clouds and re-enable overcast and this time I'm going to use this darker cloud texture and I'm going to assign it here so let's just bring in and let's see how that system looks now and I may need just to play okay there we go we can see the particle system and this time I do want it actually to be quite dense so I'm going to again change the simulation space to world I'm going to change the shape to the exact shape that I set for the sun clouds. The Y, I'm going to make slightly bigger. I'm just going to give it a Y value of 5. And I definitely want to increase the max particles. And again, you know, please bear in mind that uh, as you increase ma max particles it's going to have an effect on performance on your PC so, so let's have a look at this and we'll come to emission I'm going to turn the rate up as well to 300 in fact I may change that further so we have a fairly dense sort of clouds coming in as soon as we change to the overcast. And again I'm going to change the Y value to a value of 10. So with that said let's come back to our directional light and again will assign the overcast particle system. Now I must admit I'm not 100% happy with the overcast but again you know I'll tweak that as the project moves along and I, as I always say I encourage you to do the same because you know it's, the values are going to be different for each and every one of you based on the size of your project, the size of the terrain, um, the distance you set within your main camera. So please experiment but well, let's come to the FPS controller and let's come to console as you can see if we click on direction we're in sunny weather so the sun fogs a nice yellowy color and we're about to hit the switch weather and as you can see the sun clouds are over top there They have a yellowish tint because of the fog settings. Now we move into overcast. And I'm actually just going to increase, if I can uh, stop it in time, the switch weather timer just to give it time for the overclass clouds to come in. And there you go, you can see the clouds are thickening up now because we're moving to the overcast, the light is dimmed. And uh, I think we'll leave it here for this lesson. As you can see, the fog settings also changed. Um, again, as I said, if I stop that there, please bear in mind that these colours um, aren't what I'll have in my final project. They're a little too uh, garish, but um, they're there so it makes it easier for you guys to see within the project window here. So, we'll leave it there for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time. And until then, bye for now.